for this simple calorimetry experiment looking at the combustion of alcohols we have a copper calorimeter a lid and a stirrer a 0 to 100 centigrade thermometer and we've got a spirit burner containing ethanol in this experiment we're going to take 120 centimeters cubed of water and place that in the calorimeter We then reposition the lid and the stirrer. We need to lift the thermometer up from the base about a centimetre or two and allow the equipment to equilibrate with room temperature. This one is reading 26 degrees centigrade on this thermometer. Check that the thermometer moves, free, uh, stirrer moves freely. We then weigh the spirit burner this one is 192.34 grams, 192.34 grams. We then light the burner, place rapidly underneath the water, start stirring with the stirrer and measure the temperature increase of the water during the experiment. It's important to stir as best you can in order to distribute the heat evenly in the water. We started at 26, we're now at 32, coming up to 33, so we'll extinguish the flame. But it's important to keep stirring because heat has been transferred to the copper calorimeter and the water will continue to rise in temperature as that heat spreads throughout the system. So in fact we've now reached 34, just about, but then looks as like that's as much as we're going to get. Actually 33 and a half. No, 34, we were right, 34. Well, let's take a, another reading for the mass of the spirit burner. That's now 191. 0.92 grams, 191.92 grams. We now need to consider the errors involved in carrying out this experiment. Of course, perhaps the biggest error is transfer of heat from the flame to the surroundings as well as the water. So the flame is radiated heat in all directions and when we place it underneath the calorimeter here some of the heat is uh, absorbed by the calorimeter itself and we also lose heat to the surroundings and all the other parts of the apparatus here such as the gauze. Another large source of error is in the alcohol itself. Alcohols absorb water readily from the environment um, so this will be wet if you like or wet alcohol that's got water in it and of course the water will not burn but it will evaporate off it will it's completely miscible with the ethanol it will be drawn out through the wick and uh, be sent off as steam into the atmosphere so that will lead to a another error in the experiment 
where the whole of the mass that we're recording here, mass loss, is not purely ethanol, but it's also water. So that will lead to a lower than expected experiment. The th perhaps one of the, uh, another easily identifiable area is having a look at this. Um, that soot uh, carbon from incomplete combustion and there's, uh, well, it seems to be done rather a lot uh, there in this experiment. So we can see that, again, the ethanol does not burn completely, so we will not get a um, maximum uh, reading for the enthalpy of combustion of the ethanol there. There are other uh, errors involved. Um, yes, there's a human error in reading a thermometer on this scale. It's a very... Uh, imprecise scale where you're looking to look at the level of an alcohol and there you can go to perhaps half a degree C, half the smallest unit of measurement. The balance is fairly accurate and not responsible for large errors in this kind of experiment. So to recap, heat loss to the surroundings, impurities in the ethanol, particularly water, incomplete combustion and errors in reading the thermometer probably account for the major errors. There are others, such as loss of ethanol by evaporation before you put it up in heat between lighting it out here and putting it underneath. So there's rather a lot of errors in an experiment like this, meaning that the entropy of combustion is rather lower than you'll see in data book values.